down with them on Thursday and ask them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally going. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the 50 takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. What a punch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. These guys throwing early. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Big knee there to the chest. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice one-two there. Oh! Oh, straight right! Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses there with the left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Do not back up. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Back and forth we go. Able to check the high kick. hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot. You ready? You ready? You ready? All right, round two. It's your fight. Your fight. You drop. Right hook to the head, blocked. Nice loop and punch. Good, there it is, there it is. Oh, oh big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Back to the feet. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two. Oh! Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's unbelievable, that shot landed. Do you believe it? Holy smokes! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high